Well, 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 well. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to Workstation Wednesday, where today, today is going to be a very short video, just an update video on the book nook, right? So last time we left off, we were printing, we, we created, we created uh, the pieces that we wanted for the actual book nook itself in uh, Tinkercad. Um, and yeah, I got a couple pieces. <laughs> I don't have them all printed off, but I have the base, which this is where the batteries will go. And then the top part here, this is where the uh, one and a half inch, one and a half inch pieces will go. Okay, actually, let me move this out of the way. But these are where all the one and a half inches, will, one and a half inch pieces will go. Let me just throw them all on here real quick. But yeah, so they'll be like this. This will be the base. This will be the base of the book nook itself. And then this is the first wall. This is the front. This is the back. This is also the uh, out-facing side, since it's the nicest. The in-facing side, I had a little bit of uh, uh, trouble here because I ran out, of, ran out of filament on my 3D printer. But I got some men there to keep it going. But luckily it stopped. But the, there was like a brief period where it wasn't putting out enough uh, filament. So that we got a little bit. But this is the end facing side. So that's okay. Because we're actually going to fill the inside with uh, Hearst Arts molds. And this is actually made out of dental stone. Or I think it's flow stone. But if you can hear that over my heater, obviously. But it's, it's almost like plaster, almost, right? Almost, but it's a little bit harder. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting these uh, all the way up the wall on both sides. But but these are going to be our idea. I mean, it was a kind of our idea of where we want lanterns to go. So we'll have to create lanterns. I also want at least one doorway, either on this side or the other side. doesn't really matter. Uh, in it, so we'll have to build around, and I'll probably 3D print a door to stick in here. So we'll have a door leading into another room of a dungeon of the dungeon, sorry, and then we'll have lanterns, all that kind of good stuff. That's kind of the video today. Uh, one more thing, I guess. Next video will be me creating or doing some molds of her starts. So these are the ones I'm going to be using the wood for. Any kind of wood accents that we might want inside of the dungeon itself. Uh, here's another wood one. This might be how we, you know, add some timber to the actual walls, maybe. I don't think we'll put any on the floors, but probably won't use any of these. Probably just these and maybe some of these other smaller ones. And then there's this one. This is going to be the main one we, we do. And I can't see the number on it because he puts the numbers on these and then. I've used it so many times and watched it. I th I want to say this is 266, but it's it's very easy one to find on his uh, on his site. It's it's one of the uh, good ones, so I would recommend getting that. That's where this one came from. That's one of these pieces right here. So in the next video, next next Wednesday, I'll show me creating flowstone, putting it in here using my shake table or my shake my shaker wherever it's at. I gotta find it using my shaper to get most of the bubbles out of here and then we'll show how I dry them where I put the drying rack basically I just put it in front of my dehumidifier down here in the basement and uh, <laughs> that's how they dry out on some cardboard too by the way you put them on cardboard the moisture sucks into the cardboard dehumidifier takes care of the rest but yeah that's today's video I know it was super short very short actually but um, I'm very happy with how this piece came out. I still need to print the other side, the back wall, and the ceiling. But I don't see why those wouldn't come out um, perfect, just like these other pieces. Uh, move this out of the way. This piece came out great. The inside of this is absolutely gorgeous. <coughs> oh, sorry. The top of this, since it was printed on the skirt, actually has some good surface area. So when we go to glue this onto here, it'll definitely have a good adhesion onto the actual 
book nook itself. I might print off a battery pack to put in here. We'll drill in holes once we actually get this glued onto here. <coughs> oh man. <coughs> Something went down my throat. Ugh. But yeah, so we'll get there eventually. Hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll see you all later. Peace out.